Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. Yeah. Russia. Russia could stop its aggression. Really, if it wanted to. But you can speed up our victory. Why don't we just give Ukraine everything there is to give? Well, for two reasons. One, there's an entire alliance that is critical to stay with Ukraine. And the idea that we would give Ukraine material that is fundamentally different than is already going there would have a prospect of breaking up NATO and breaking up the European Union and the rest of the world. But they're not looking to go to war with Russia. They're not looking for a third world war. Well, yeah, again, without confirming uh, what is or isn't in the next security assistance package, uh, uh, we are going to remain undeterred in helping Ukraine defend itself against these air assaults, these air attacks, which are coming from drones and cruise missiles, Iranian drones and cruise missiles. Um, so um, we're fixated on making sure we can help them with those air defense capabilities. We're working with them in lockstep about what kinds of capabilities are the most appropriate and that will continue for as long as they remain under assault from the air as they have been in recent weeks uh, we will remain committed to helping them defend against those kinds of attacks and uh, yeah, is and it is it, it is focused on defense steve it's about helping them defend themselves
I just finished attending the address by President Zelensky, and we're going to have votes here at the Capitol for the next four hours or so. Here's what was clear from tonight. The people of Ukraine are suffering, the war is deadly and horrific, and the carnage has not stopped. Sadly, what I didn't hear tonight was a clear explanation of where the first $50 billion we sent to support their efforts went. Until Congress receives a full audit on where our money has already gone, I will not support sending additional money to this war. President Zelensky is working to protect his country, his border, and his people. I get it. I really just wish our commander in chief would do the same right here at home and secure our southern border and protect our people. If this is winning, I'm getting tired of winning. GOP leadership declares that this bill is a victory, but not unless you define victory as adding over a trillion dollars in new deficit spending. So really there is a debate, a big debate within the Republican Party. Which is more important? Is it more important to add $45 billion to military spending or is it more important not to add a trillion dollars in deficit to our overall debt? We now have a $31 trillion debt. We're adding over a trillion dollars a year, and yet Republican leadership says this is a victory because we're getting more military spending. But it's a victory at what expense?